Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about part 3. Okay, part 3 of your terminologies related to your agroforestry where we will discuss 7 to 8 more terms related to your agroforestry where some are very very important to understand. So without wasting time, let's begin. So here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 number of terms are there. One by one we will discuss. So the first one is your hardwood. What is a hardwood? You see don't think that hardwood means that is a hard plant. Okay. This is one conventional term used irrespective, not respective, irrespective of physical hardness or softness but for broad leaf trees and the timber is distinguished from conifers and the timber which are known as softwood. To understand properly, we will go to this picture. What happens you see, softwood and hardwood. Hardwood means what? Whatever the wood material or whatever the timber materials of which type of plant of angiosperm type of plant okay angiosperm type of plant that is known as what your hardwoods and the timber and tree part of your uh, gymnosperms okay gymnosperms for them what happens that is known as what your softwoods okay what is gymnosperm what is angiosperm those things we have discussed in the previous part so try to see that one if you are not aware of what is gymnosperm and what is angiosperm but for the time being we just remember woods of uh, gymnosperms are known as softwood and woods of your angiosperm are known as what your hard woods i hope there is no any doubt on this okay what is a leader the terminal that means the full end of the plant yes or no the terminal that is your topmost suit characteristic of growth of some plants or trees due to injury what happens sometimes it may show a forked appearance okay so what is that here we can see this is the plant okay and this is the soil region and these are the roots so this is the graft union will be there if we are grafted plant this is the main trunk okay then branches will come okay then your spore system will start okay like this it will be developed so here you can see this region suppose this is the branch these are the laterals yes or no again suppose on this what will, what will happen another growth will be there like this here you can see like this a growth will be there this is known as what your central leader or your leader of the plant to understand even more you see this is the plant okay and here you see there is a central leader okay again you see two type of leaders are there like tree with multi leaders and tree with new dominant leader what is the meaning you see here one leader okay here one leader here also one leader like this so many leaders are there okay so if you go for removal of those comp these leaders are known as what are competing leaders they are competing with each other for the nutrients whatever is going on so what is the term we are doing we are doing one work cultural practice that is a removal of the competing leaders these things will be pruned okay they will be removed so that what will happen at the center region only whatever the leader is there this leader that means c and a will be removed only b will be there that will take all of the nutrients and that will be developed properly that is known as what what your new dominant leader next litter what is litter the uppermost layer the l layer the uppermost layer of organic debris on a forest floor that is essentially the freshly fallen or often slightly decomposed vegetable material material or leaf surface or leaves okay but uh, they also may be your bark fragments twigs flowers fruits etc but that of plant material so whatever the leftover things present on the particular uh, 
in the forest in the soil surface on the soil surface okay here you can see this is your letters okay like this it will be falling down okay so whatever the things uh, that means all those plant components whatever is falling on the ground they will be somewhat decomposed yes or no so the person where that is visible uh, that is the uppermost layer of the soil yes or no just above the soil these things this litter will be falling okay so that is known as what your litters waste material of the plant next log what is a log the stem of a tree or a length of stem or branch after felling or trimming is known as what your log here you can see this is the log of the plant huh? log of the forest trees next you see overstocked that means we can tell simply overcrowded a condition or overcrowding in tree crops leading to the retarded growth is known as what your overstocked forest land here you can see this is the picture of overstocked plant next you see pioneer what is that or pioneer you can tell a species planted to prepare a site for such succession species and hence constituting a nurse crop is known as what your pioneer what is that here you can see this one you see bare rock was there there this bacteria lichen small annual plants grasses were there these are the pioneer species understood they will lead to intermediate species like this shrub said uh, intolerant plants they will be grown then what will happen climax community said tolerant said intolerant all those fauna flora everything will be developed huh? this is known as what your climax community some more pictures are there like here you see bare rock then lichens then small annual plants and lichens perennial herb and grasses then grasses shrub settled intolerant trees then your settled and trees will also come okay pioneer stages intermediate stages and your climax community to understand properly you see this uh, definition pioneer species are the first organisms that colonize on the barren environments or disrupted ecosystem these are the pioneer species they develop gradually that will become this one this will become this one. <coughs> so the next point is planting out transferring stock to the planting site is contrasted with transplanting in the nursery from the nursery yes or no just this is nothing but a transplanting here you can see just this is nothing but a planting out means or nothing but that is your transplanting in the field so here the last one is left pole tree size class of trees greater than six inches dbh and less than 12 inches dbh that means what is the meaning size class that means suppose you see so many trees are there okay which trees will be known as pole trees here you see what is the meaning where the dbh will be suppose this is the dbh and huh? dbh okay dbh will be more than six inches and less than 12 inches such kind of uh, trees are known as what your pole tree understood what is dbh diameter of breast height what is the formula what is basal area and all those things we already have discussed i have separated different uh, videos for that you can watch it and you can understand now we won't discuss just we'll discuss what is a pole tree the tree where dbh is more than six inches and less than 12 inches six inches means 15 centimeter and 12 inches means 30 centimeter okay so here in this picture you can see this is the seedling stage this is the suppling stage and this is the pole stage where what is happening the breast uh, the, suppose this is the breast height huh? 4.5 feet so here the diameter this diameter is known as dbh suppose this dbh is more than 6 inches and less than 12 inches that will be known as what your pole tree okay like this they will count and all for the time being this is not important okay so i hope everything you understood clearly and uh, if any doubt is there you can ask in the comment box thank you for watching have a nice day acha suno subscribe karte waqt na ghanti baja dena taki jab main online aau to tumhare phone ki bhi ghanti bache